Hello friends, today our topic is correlation. So let's see how many types are there for the correlation. So there are basically three types and they are the first type is cross correlation, second auto correlation and third is circular correlation. So let's see how to solve them. So our first topic was cross correlation. Now basically cross correlation means there are two different variables x and y. Therefore the significance cross come in. Alright. So and it is represented as cross correlation is represented as r x y. So this is representation and this is identification. If you see, so first you, if you see x and y, then it means it is co cross correlation and it is represented as r x y. So let's see example. So example we have is x of n and the values for x of n is 1, 1, 2, 2 and it starts at 0. Similarly for y of n, the example is 1 comma 3 comma 1 so now the question is what is the cross correlation means that what is r x y of n so what is the value so how to find it it is very simple all right we have to form this and in this in this direction and in this direction we have to denote something all right so in this direction this is there is x of n whereas in this direction there is y of minus n so this is important this direction is important why because it is y of minus n so let's solve that why what is y of minus n so it is it means that we have to take the mirror of this all right this means it is in positive side what will be the mirror this all will be in negative side so let's do the reciprocal so values remain the same like 1 3 1 opposite of that again 1 3 1 but now the axis changes to this this means that we had x of uh, sorry we had y of 1 y of 2 but now we have y of minus 1 and y of minus 2 all right so we have to write this here 1 3 1 in x of n direction we have this all values 1 1 2 2 now so what we have to write inside this now 1 into 1 1 so 1 into 3 3 1 into 1 1 so likewise we have to do for rest of the things so again we have 1, so same value is 1, 3, 1. Now we have 2. So 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 3, 6. 2 into 1, 2. Again we have 2, so same. Now we have to, what we have to do? This. Alright, partition like this in the cross, in the cross direction, partition them and you have to add up all of all these numbers now in this direction all right so let's assume we are adding all this number so what numbers we get here we get one that's simple now here we get one plus three that is four now here we get two plus three plus one that is six here we get two plus six that is eight and eight plus one nine and again we get seven eight and we get two all right now this is very interesting where will be the axis now you can see that we had 0 then we had minus 1 and minus 2 so our lowest so let's write here our lowest lowest is minus 2 and our highest highest you can see that from x of n 1 2 and 3 so highest is 3 so we have to start minus 2 minus 1 so 0 and again 1, 2 and 3. So our answer is this. This is nothing but R of x, y. So this is cross correlation. So let's see now. Next part. 
Now let's talk about autocorrelation. So our second point is autocorrelation. Now as the na name suggests, auto. Auto means there is only one variable x or there can be y. So it is rxs or it can be r y y. So we have to follow the same steps again like this matrix again there will be something and here in this direction there is always negative value and this direction there is always positive value so if there is negative this means there will be y of minus n if there is positive then it is x of n okay so suppose we have x of n and its value is 1 2 3 and 4 then what is x of minus n so if it starts here then all this positive side will become negative side so 4 3 2 and 1 and here is the here. so what we have to understand is at 1 2 and 3 so x of 3 was 4 so x of minus 3 will be 4 so that you cannot uh, get confused during finding x of minus n all right it is always the mirror so if 4 is the last here then it will be the first here okay so let's uh, find the value of rxx so what is now rxx so let's find them okay in this direction there is positive value so 1 2 3 and 4 in this direction there is x of minus n so 4 3 2 and 1 now let's solve 1 4 or 1 into 4 is 4 1 into 3 is 3 and so on again 2 2 times 4 is 8 then 6 then 4 then 2 again 3 times it's 12 9 6 and 3 again 4 times 4 4 is a 16 4 3 is a 12 then 8 and then 4 then we have to follow a cross style fashion this then add up all of those then uh, we get the values like here is 4 then we get 8 plus 3 and that is 11 then 12 plus 6 plus 2 that is 20 then we get 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 that is 30 and the rest of them 20 11 and 4 we can see 4 here it's 11 and so on so this is our rxx all right now comes what is the lowest and what is the highest value so we have to find it from this two so what is the lowest starting from 0 so minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so lowest is minus 3 okay we got that but what is the highest again 0 in right side we have 1 2 and 3 so highest is 3 don't get confused these are the amplitudes okay if you don't know this these are the amplitudes how will you plot this uh, let's take here how will you plot x of n so at x of 0 it is 1 so at 0 it is 1 at x of 1 it is 2 so at 1 it is 2 so I am talking about this value 0 and 1 these are the highest and lowest whereas these values are the amplitudes you can see these are the amplitudes so don't get confused between these values and the lowest and highest values this these are the x coordinates whereas these are the y coordinates these are the amplitudes okay so we now know that the lowest is minus 3 so minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and here is the 0 so at 30 we have 0 and at 4 we have minus 3 so at maximum also we have 4 at minimum we also have 4 so now let's see the third type so let's talk about the third type the third type was circular correlation now the name as well suggests the circular correlation now there cannot be let's say xx or yy again we don't have this so we have x and y okay now let's talk about that Suppose I have x of n equal to now important part is circular correlation is represented as over bar and it is x of y. So this was different from rest. So let's take an example. So 1 1 2 1 y of n is equal to 2 3 1 1. Okay. And they start at origin. So there is no problem. So now what is circular correlation? How to find that? Now this, there is no uh, that form 
you know that in x and in this direction and this direction so we don't follow this now so what will we follow we follow a matrix form this is the matrix form now what will be in this matrix what will be in this matrix and equal to our answer answer matrix so this is our answer matrix so this will be our bar x y okay now what is this and this the uh, this remembering this is only important rest is the cake walk all right so this is y of n if you interchange this to your answer is wrong Th that's why this is important remember this this is y of n and this is x of n remember this too now let's put in the value so x of n it will be simple like 1 1 2 1 there is no problem in this problem comes here how to fill up this and why this is broad because this uh, is let's say this is 4 values so it will be 4 into 4 all right and this will be 4 into 1 you can see 4 rows and 1 column then you can merge this two and you can get again a four row and one column answer okay now how to fill this now you know that it is four into four matrix that means there will be four rows and all right there will be four rows and there will be four columns so how to fill them start with as it is what is given two three one one so first line is clear now talking about second row take this value now take this value and write here all right and then you go what you can say this is a clockwise direction all right now one then it will be two three and one now again go clockwise this way one one two three all right one one two three we have gone clockwise again now go clockwise what will be answer three one one two okay so this is our matrix now you have to solve this you know how to solve this 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 similarly 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 into 1 you have to solve this and fill up this so answer is 8 10 9 and 8 so our rxy bar is equal to 8 10 9 and 8 and our origin is here so i hope you got this so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out